Climate change is one of the greatest challenges we face. The climate system is complex. It is influenced by both natural and human factors. But science now tells us that climate change in our time is mainly caused by human activities and pressures. Worldwide, we have seen changes happening rapidly. Temperatures are rising, ice is melting, oceans are warming and becoming more acidic. Sea levels are rising and we have noticed changes in precipitation patterns. Climate change can also affect many extreme weather events, often increasing their frequency and intensity. Heat waves, for example, are more intense and happening more often. If we do not act now, further risks and impacts will occur. Climate change can impact the natural world, but also human systems. Some risks that are already present might worsen, and new risks could emerge. Several nations around the world have declared climate emergencies as they acknowledge the damaging effects of climate change on society. Many parts of our lives are threatened by climate change. Resources such as food, clean air and water are at risk. Our livelihoods, homes and even our health can all be impacted by climate change. But the risks aren't distributed equally. Some of us are more vulnerable than others. When it comes to health, climate change is often thought about as a risk multiplier. A major impact is to worsen health problems that might already exist. Some diseases could also spread to new areas. Climate change can affect both our physical and our mental health. The impact can also be influenced by other factors, such as the environment, society and public health. Climate change can impact health directly in a number of ways. For example, injuries, illnesses and fatalities often come into focus during extreme weather events in which climate change may play a role. Climate change can also impact health indirectly. This can be through natural or human systems. For example, there may be less food production in some places, which can increase the risk of malnutrition. Worsening of water, food or air quality can also lead to illness. In other areas, workers' health may suffer because of heat. Insects such as mosquitoes or ticks carrying diseases could change their activity in some regions. Some people may suffer stress or mental ill health if they are displaced from their homes. Critical infrastructure could be damaged, which can limit health services. We must act. A good start is by drastically reducing polluting emissions and promoting sustainable development. This means being able to meet people's needs today without compromising the needs of future generations. We also need to reduce vulnerability and improve public health. We should be better prepared when disasters strike. Many actions give us opportunities for lowering and managing climate change risks and can also provide other benefits, such as to health. Take active travel, for example. Eliminating fossil fuel use for travel reduces polluting emissions. This helps to lessen climate change and also improve health through better air quality. Active travel can also give us health benefits through exercise. Another climate action that can also benefit health is planting trees and increasing green spaces, especially in urban areas. Trees help reduce climate change by capturing and storing carbon. Trees can also help us adapt to the challenges of climate change and improve health, such as through providing shade, cleaning and cooling the air, improving groundwater quality, and help us to better manage excess water. Spending time around trees, forests or green spaces has also been linked with physical and mental health benefits, such as reducing stress, improving blood pressure and immune function. Green spaces can also provide places to socialise, exercise and offer habitats for plants and animals. Protecting and promoting green spaces and planting trees are important climate actions. They benefit the environment, health, society and help us fight climate change. But these are not the only actions needed to tackle the climate crisis. Together we must act further, including a drastic and long-lasting decline of polluting emissions. There is hope for our future. You are part of that hope. <laughs>